Hi everyone, this is Cardell, and today is going to be a really short video about a uh, an AMD issue that is not really AMD's problem, it's more of Windows, and it came up during a recent post in the subreddit that uh, I thought I should just do a little video, because I, I think I've explained this a number of times over the last few years, but uh, I'm just going to make a video and uh, just point it out. So. If you have a AMD CPU and GPU, so you have an AMD system through and through, there is a problem with Windows that can cause some issues, and that is the automatic update and a feature that Windows 10 and probably Windows 11 have turned on that will automatically update system like hardware drivers. So stuff like your audio, your LAN, uh, chipset updates and your VGA drivers for your motherboard. So if you have an integrated graphics CPU like a AM4 G series processor that lets you have like the adrenaline drivers for your processor and then so you don't have a graphics card that's your graphics driver right? So the problem is is that even though they might be the same version of the actual number the files are not the same as the one you get when you install the actual adrenaline driver package. And the problem is, is that if you have a graphics card, like I have a 7800X3D, or 7800X3D, 7800XT, that chipset driver that Windows Update installs completely breaks the adrenaline drivers. You can't even open this window it will refuse to open. It will give you an error, something like um, your driver mismatch. There's a driver mismatch or something like that. Um, and that is the uh, window. It won't pop this up. It'll be like a little message window that comes up. So in order to get rid of that, you have to use DDU to completely remove your system. So what we do is we come into, you right click your this PC in your file manager and go properties and you will get this settings screen and you click on this advanced system settings and this window up pops up. This is your system system properties and it'll be come to this advanced tab but you want to go to the hardware tab and the device settings installation settings is where this little feature is. So this is what Windows updates uses. This is defaulting to yes for your uh, Windows installation. And so what you do is you turn this off. You will have to manually update your driver, so audio, LAN, Wi-Fi, chipset, anything like that, you have to manually update it. <clears throat> but this will prevent it from installing those VGA drivers for the motherboard and therefore not bricking your entire graphics driver. You'll have to use DDU to uninstall all the graphics drivers that are on the system and reinstall the adrenaline package or catalyst if you're on an older graphics card. That kind of thing, that is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to completely wipe out any drivers that exist because you don't know what or what is not like correct. Then reinstall the graphics drivers and you'll have a clean slate. You shouldn't have the problem anymore. Uh, I would just note that every time Windows does a really, really big update, Go and check and make sure this has not been defaulted to yes. Uh, I vaguely remember them doing that a long time ago, like when uh, the 20 something came out, 22 something, the first version of it. I like it was a really, really big update. I think that's when they defaulted it to yes again. But uh, yeah, just go and ch make sure every time you get a big update, check the setting, make sure it's set to no, and you shouldn't have any problems with that. So yeah, if you have uh, any other questions, leave a comment below, like and subscribe, and we will check you guys in the next one.